Welcome group two. Thanks for tuning into your reading. I hope you guys are doing well. All right. So like I told group one, I don't know what this reading is going to be about. It's just whatever comes out, you know, of the cards. It's a general romance reading. So we'll see, you know, what comes out and then I'll put the title based on that. And so go ahead and think about any questions you have or concerns that you have. I'm going to pull a card from the dragon oracle. Wow, fire and water dragon. Okay, so this is going to be a continuation of group one, evidently. If you were undecided between between groups one and two, you could check out group one as well. And this is why I say, you know, why I said or why I say, I don't know if I've said it on this channel before, but I meant to, that, um, you know, the collective energies basically are two strong collective energies. And then, um, you know, every additional group that I would do would be um, a division of those two main energies. Um, and this is evidence of that. You know, I've noticed that on my channel and other, and other channels, you know, that that's the case. So um, that's why we're seeing repeat cards here. The fire and water dragon enables your life to flow with a loving force. Prepare for change and to move forward quickly. Expect unexpected. Expect the unexpected and have fun, as the guidance said. Get you another one, just to, you know, for the hell of it. Golden Christed dragon brings you higher love so that you embody the Christ light. Absorb the Christ light. You are protected. Expand your heart and remain fifth dimensional. Okay, so yeah, this is saying to keep your vibration up here. Um, embody the Christ consciousness, which is light. We're all light. Okay, we're all light. That's not a point that needs to be argued. You know, um, you, you unleash the truth. You don't have to defend it. It will defend itself. But this is saying allow that to flow. Allow that to continue to be the case. You know, don't try to block it or anything like that. And the main way people would block it was. You know would be through fear false evidence appearing real so just know that you are protected and keep expanding towards the um the rest of you expand your heart towards that fifth dimensional so this is what they're wanting to say very high vibrational people watching tonight um so that's good to see here and we'll see what else comes out <clears throat> excuse me i needed some tea my regulars know it doesn't take a whole lot of talking before my my voice starts to go out. So, yeah. Most of my readings that I do, you know, my private practice are um, like written or text readings. So that helps a lot. Okay, so for group two, let's find out what the story is you know, with group two. Just show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see to understand for group two. What's their story? What do they need to know? What's going on? We've got the little old page of cups. We've got justice. We've got the devil card. I've seen the devil a couple of times. And some of you are really, you know, romantics. Okay, very sweet. Um, or you, your inner child is very sweet and romantic. You could be a lawyer. You know, you could be a judge. You could be um, somebody that otherwise is very cool, calm, logical, and collected. But when it comes to your widow heart, you guys are very. Um, very sweet and you don't know what's happening you don't know what's going on um, there is some confusion around the situation whoever whatever you're here for you know obviously you're here for guidance right or maybe just to you know watch and be entertained which is fine too but truly I'm getting like a confused energy about what's right and wrong in the situation um, some of you guys are really worried that you know um, that your future is marred or blocked or um, that you are in danger of making a bad decision or a bad choice regarding your future investing in something that won't pay off or will turn out badly and it has to do with love some of you are already in a relationship 
okay? You could be a Virgo. We got the Hermit at the back of the deck. Or you're really looking to become a wife, to become wifed up, husband up. You want to be in um, a relationship. And you want it to be, you know, some of you might be involved with somebody where it's a highly sexual relationship or it's an unhealthy relationship. You want to cut that out. You want instead to, um, you know, um, you know, have the clarity to know, you know, who and what to pursue or what to, um, you know, what to focus on in order to have, you know, the serious relationship that you want, the victory and love that you want. You want to cut out any toxicity. And the Queen of Pentacles doesn't, I mean, she is the Earth Mother. She is nurturing. She's like a nurse. She is caring. And, um, and she doesn't like a lot of nonsense. She's very practical, right? So she doesn't want it to just be about, you know, lust or anything like that. Um, some people don't mind that, I guess. I don't know. But she wants something serious. And she's starting to feel like maybe that's never going to happen. Maybe she's never going to be the Empress at the back of the deck. She's never going to be... Um, you know, the number one in somebody's life. Um, she's never going to embody all that. Maybe she wants to be a mother and she feels like she's never going to be a mother or she's never going to be, you know, in the kind of mother that she wants to be or the kind of woman that she wants to be. There's something here about um, overthinking and being, you know, really trapped in her head. And again, it's about decision, a decision that needs to be made and trying to make the right decision. Uh, it could be regarding work, but it also could be regarding about a new beginning, starting something new, um, creating something new. But there's so much anxiety here. It has to do with the heart and love. Some of your Capricorn energy is too in your head. Okay. Capricorns, I have to, well, Capricorn, yeah, I was going to say Capricorn females, but just Capricorns in general. In my private practice, you guys are so sensitive. You're always the ones that, um, you know, I can never put things delicately enough, you know, to not hurt your feelings. So just letting you know, putting that out there, full disclosure, but that's the energy that I'm feeling like. You guys, um, you know, you think too much. You're not an air sign, okay? When you guys think too much, it, it turns into this, you know, a lot of times because of that Sat Saturnian, Saturnian, that Saturn energy that's really hard to deal with, that karmic energy. So it's tough, karma. So, um, you know, karma is as simple as you reap what you sow, law of assumption, whatever you assume to be true, consciously or unconsciously, is what you manifest and create. Um, so some people don't like to hear that but you know you can take your power back that's the good thing about that is that it's in your hands to change it so it has to do with a decision and that decision has to do with um a particular water sign maybe it's also try to come out yeah maybe um somebody that is in another family situation somebody you know through family playing out here ten of swords so if there is a third party in the mix we're seeing karma playing out a painful ending occurring and that third party moving on okay so if you're involved with somebody who's involved with somebody else they're moving on if you have someone but you want someone else your partner is moving on or you're moving on moving to greener pastures yeah looking to the future what do i invest in next that i want a secure and stable future this is saying that You know, that's one of the things that, that you're afraid of not having, that you're stressing about. Yeah, you're a nervous Nelly regarding, <laughs> you're a nervous Nelly regarding your future, regarding all the things that you feel that you still have to learn about a person, about um, your love life, about a situation. There's things that you feel like you, you need to learn. 
about having that stable, secure future. And it could be your person as well. You know, this is your person too. For some of you, it's only talking about your person with regard to what they need to learn here. You're looking maybe at your person um, and they're um, looking to, they're looking to you. You guys are looking back at each other. Um, you could be in communication, you know, with someone. Maybe you guys are at a distance, but either way, you're both looking to um, close the distance. There's some like argumentative energy here or argumentative thoughts. Just watch your thoughts because you know those get pushed out and mirrored back to you in the 3D. Uh, so you know, beware of thinking too negatively regarding something. But um, I feel like mostly it's, it's nerves, but we need to get that eight of swords and nine of swords energy. So you really have to watch the negative thinking. Um, but your person is, I mean, you guys are pretty much on the same page the um, four of cups and the temperance so your person feels like if they were to reach out to you that this would be you okay that you would maybe not accept their cup that maybe you are too withdrawn um, or you're focused elsewhere that you don't want maybe you won't want anything to do with them and in order for this to work you know in order for our angelic bartender to um, you know, mix this cocktail of love, yeah, corny, but it's it's a good analogy. <laughs> and then that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. It's a good analogy that you know, in order for this to work, your person knows you need to accept their cup in order to mix something together and uh, meet in the middle. You know, um, find a a harmonious solution or make a harmonious situation that you would need to be receptive, you know, to that. And I think that maybe you're both thinking about, you know, whether or not you would be whether or not someone here would be, would be. So, and like I said, for a lot of you, it's your person thinking that you wouldn't be receptive. And it has to do with that double energy. You know, what comes between the devil and the star, the tower card. So, um, and the tower has to do with, you know, a sudden upheaval and a disruption, a shocking ending. So, um, that's been your guys' story for some of you. But, you know, either way, they, they feel like that has to do with the devil energy that maybe you, they behaved like a devil, a devil towards you. And if not, maybe you just don't feel like... They don't feel like they're attractive enough for you or maybe that, you know, you've seen something about them. You've learned something about them that you don't like that, like, had revealed who this person really is. And, um, because when you're in, when you're not in contact and obviously for most of you, you aren't, then all you have is your imagination, your thoughts and then what you can pick up from, um, from other, you know, other people, social media, what you can glean from other sources regarding the situation. And for some of you, your imagination is really running wild in a negative way. You need to check that. Um, for others of you, it's your person too, but they're kind of worried about, um, you know, will you see them as somebody that wants to heal this? Um, will you take, you know, this offer they want to come in with? Um, as an invitation to heal the past and start again. There's your offer. doesn't want to be a burden to you you know they see you as pretty content and happy and who you are 
Okay, maybe you're a mystic, maybe you're um, a tarot reader, maybe you are just somebody that's like more reserved. Maybe you are a librarian, maybe you're a spiritual person, and maybe you're just like reserved toward this person for whatever reason. Something about maybe being a little, um, you know, off limits. Sorry, I've got this thing beeping for some reason. It's distracting. Um, you know that you're withdrawn from this person, you're kind of a mystery to this person. They don't want to be a burden to you by rushing in, but really what they want to do is to rush in. But they do have this energy, again, this air sign energy. We saw the Page of Swords, now we were seeing the Knight of Swords, which is kind of oppositional. Page of Swords is like a nervous Nelly, can be somebody looking for a fight. Same thing with this um, Knight of Swords. And even if they're not looking for a fight, the way they come across is impetuous, like thoughtless, um, uh, unwise, right? Oppositional. Um, so this person's want to rush in, but can you see the difference between um, the lady, the lady-like high priestess, and, and this knight, just like rushing in. It's like um, Perseus from from Troy. That's Perseus, and and this is and this is um, and this is Achilles, like rushing in. There's a lot of drama. There's a lot of drama that 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 uh, that he brings, that Achilles brings to Perseus, right? If you've ever seen that movie or know the story, um, and this person. They really, really, and they really, really want to be with you. And it's like, okay, well, they really want to be with you. I was going to say, you know, maybe this person doesn't, I know this person doesn't want to bring burdens into your life. And but it's not gonna stop them. It's not gonna stop them from coming forward. Um, they feel this bond with you. There's an emotional connection here. Um, this person does have options, to just be honest with you. Um, so I don't know if you wanna even bother with that. So for some of you, this person could be otherwise committed, but um, like we saw before, it looks like they're wrapping that up but you wanna make sure obviously that this person's really wrapped it up before getting involved with them or deepening the connection. So even though they don't wanna be a burden on you, they're still gonna to come towards you and they're still gonna charge right into your pretty little life and possibly upend it. This person is messy, whether there's a third party or not. There's some sort of messiness with this person. Yeah, they're juggling. They have ideas. They might look really good on paper, but then end up being end up being disappointed once you get more involved with them because they're not ready. They're two of pentacles, not ten of pentacles. All right. They're not even six of pentacles where they can reciproc reciprocate what they get from you. Like they can't do that on some level. Intentions are kind of like they want to fight with you. <laughs> they want to um, like get in a tit for tat with you or like challenge you. They basically want to challenge you. Okay, underneath it, they're the Page of Wands. So um, their intentions, you know, aren't terrible. Intentions are kind of good. They just want, you know, they want to communicate. I think they feel like any kind of communication would be positive because they just want to communicate with you and get some truth. Any kind of communication will kind of like let them know something that they want to know yeah because you are this high priestess you are to yourself or not dealing with them right now you guys are spiritually connected but there's this um sense of separation there's a sense of um, mystery around you so this person wants to shake you up a little bit and see how you react the emperor coming out so that's um a way in which this person is trying to 
get a new beginning out of you. <laughs> to be strategic, to put an end to the past, a past where there was likely betrayal here or um, yeah, it feels like this person could have betrayed you. They're wanting to put an end to the past. I think this person wants to just kind of like fight with you and have it out, hash it out, and then that will help them make the decision um, while also satisfying their desire to be close to you because this person does have feelings for you and feel this connection with you. And this is like, you know, the emperor is like a warrior. And that, that's how he got to the place that he is. And so this is how this person interacts. This is how they work. Um, it really is giving me Troy vibes. Troy, Troy. Maybe I'm gonna have to watch that movie later. I can watch half of it, I don't like the last half. Um, all right, Seven of Wands, yeah, see this defensive dude, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Somebody walked away. Okay, leaving the other one really sad. And so there's de defenses up as a result of that, but wanting to fight past those defenses. Wanting to break through that stalemate, that standoff. There's a lot of unknowns in the situation. A lot of confusion. It's like a bad situation that's going to require strength in order to get through it. So somebody is preparing for or um, having the courage... Yeah, this person struggles with true self-confidence, so they come across as the king of swords. Or they live in their head too much. They're too strategic, over-intellectualized over things. Air sign energy. So if you're wondering why this person behaves this way or why they would behave this way, this is why, because they lack true courage. Whereas you have that courage, but you're protecting your heart. Yeah, you're standing back and doing the smart thing in this in this case and protecting your heart. You're not wanting to give any more to this person just to have them, you know, um, you know, mistreat you again or just to have them disappoint you. So you're not wanting that. Okay. And some of you don't even want a new beginning with this person. You're wanting somebody else. And that's okay too. alien and hedonist yeah so yeah for some of you um, you feel like an alien you're very sensitive you could be an indigo or resonate with that star child or something like that angelic earth angel something um, I think that to some degree your person is like that but they um, sort of medicate themselves or deal with their sensitivities by being a hedonist that's like devil energy seeking pleasure and stuff like that instead of um i guess dealing with their emotions in a proper way in a more productive way i mean it's not all bad the hedonist card but if you're the empress i mean the high priestess the high priestess is who the empress is before you know, before she meets her mate, before she meets her her partner, her true partner. So if you're still in Empress energy, then this is the opposite of what, you know, what you're looking for. Yeah, this is very disappointing. It's somebody that can't make a choice or has more than one person, more than one option, in which case you would rather be alone than deal with that. Um, and if it's your person we're talking about, you know, they would rather be alone than deal with that if you're the one that's being in the hedonist energy, okay? So let's get you a message from this person. I wanted to see what the outcome is real quick. The Eight of Pentacles, it's actually not a terrible outcome, um, but it is asking you to make sure that, you know, 
you're not being loyal to somebody that's not reciprocating or that doesn't deserve it. It is saying that you know you're you're willing to do the work. Is this person willing to do the work? Yeah, they're really willing to do the work because they see you as the empress. Like they want to take you out of the high priestess energy and make you into the empress. And they want to negotiate with you to figure out. They have a very transactional approach to working this out with you though. It's like a tit for tat sort of, um, you do this, I do that. Like you guys are going to do a business deal kind of vibe here. But that's because they see you as the empress. Um, they just want to move it forward. They don't, and some of them have an anger issue or just, you know, aren't very emotionally intelligent. So they're doing, they're going to do their best in the ways that they know how to work things out with you, to find a happy medium, to move it forward, to have um, a secure future with you, um, to have a renewal in the connection, even if it's hard. And they expect it to be because like something bad happened here or something, you know, some karma played out. Um, a new beginning is wanted and needed. This person wants to move it forward and they want to be, you know, someone that you can look up to. So, um, there's that. So what would this person, what would this person say to group two? Tony Morrison, beloved, she gather me, man, the pieces I am. She gather them and give them back to me in all the right order. So this person is like looking at you as their answer. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. They're looking, looking at you as their, as their answer is the one that can get their shit together or their inspiration. I mean, that's what I'm saying. This person... That's got a lot going on. They're a handful. They're high maintenance. Um, and if you're watching this, you're probably intuitive or a spiritual person. Those those types of people tend to be giving, um, tend to be compassionate. Um, but just know that you know this person is the way that they are. Um, and so watch your boundaries, I guess. Protect yourself. But it looks like a lot of you are already doing that. But I'm just saying, no matter how this person presents, they um, they care about, <laughs> you know, not being a burden on you. Like, they care about that. But not enough to not be a burden, if that makes sense. They're still going to be, they're still going to do their thing or be themselves. Now, what that means will depend on your specific situation. So if you'd like a private reading, um, check out the um, description box. Or message me, love the oracle dragon at gmail.com. $20 for private reading right now. We've got the Knight of Cups wanted to turn over, so we're gonna go ahead and take that. We've got the lovers at the back of the deck. So that's um, meatloaf by the dashboard lights, I think it is. Let me look. <laughs> um, you took the words right out of my mouth meatloaf, that's the lovers, and Knight of Cups is, I believe that's No Ordinary Love by Sade. It's Sade for sure. I'm trying to find. Um, the exact name of that. Whenever I rush, it doesn't work out. So will I ever learn? No, because I am a quadruple fire sign. So naturally, I'm going to drop stuff on the floor. And I'm always going to be doing silly things like that because I can't wait. All right. Let's see. Being hard on myself. Okay. Smooth operator. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But I mean, that's. That says it. I thought it was no ordinary love, but this is smooth operator. So if you want to watch, watch those videos, you can look them up on YouTube, listen to those songs if you want, you know, additional messages from this person. And then I'm going to finish it off with this card here, maybe for some advice or guidance for, for the viewer. Got 
go for it. Step out of your comfort zone. Yeah, High Priestess always in her comfort zone. She needs to get out of that temple, right? She needs to um, step out of her comfort zone. Make some plans. Now is the time. Favorable outcome in alignment. So whatever, you know, you're wanting here, you know, if it's talking about this person, there is a favorable outcome, but you have to get out of your comfort zone to experience it. So make some plans. Um, you know, do your thing. Uh, take a leap of faith is basically what it's saying. And when will you know when that's the time to um, take a leap of faith? It's when this person comes in with an offer for you, which this person is determined to do. So at some point they're going to do that, but you don't have to sit around and wait for that. There's just going to be another new opportunity that's going to present itself to you. It could be in the realm of work, um, but there's definitely some sort of a victory that you're going to experience. And so it has to do with um, work, money, or other relationships, or and this relationship as well. So what do you do? Um, you take inspired action. You set your intentions. You say your affirmations. You do your inner work. Okay. It's not about not doing anything. It's about doing the right things. And the right things is making the decision, deciding what you need to do. Some of you already have some plans that you've been playing with in your mind that you want to make a plan, maybe go on a trip, something like that. Go ahead and do that. Okay. Whatever those plans are, solidify those. Um, but, it, you know, and if you do that, you know, it's not going to be hard for you to step out of your comfort zone because inspired action does that. So when you do the inner work, you're automatically doing all the physical things in the 3D that move things forward, get things done, make progress, are productive. But it doesn't even feel like you're doing it because you're just moving with the flow. So it's very, it's very easy. It's much more pleasant to do that than try to force things, okay? So that's basically what that's saying is that. Anything else? Yeah, just you need a little excitement in your life. Find your soul's purpose. Um, new new chapter. Share your unique gifts. So um, that's that's all they want you to do. Okay, that's what I've got for you, group two. Thanks for tuning in. I hope that was helpful and take care.